This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Today's topic is, what is advance parole? Visa Coach, fast, easy, and personal. My name is Fred Wall. I am the Visa Coach, known for front-loaded immigration presentations that tell your story leading to fast and easy approval and the personal one-on-one -on -one attention well, you receive as my client. I invented the three-step immigration success method, which anticipates the likely problems and skepticism your case might face, and then squashes those issues by working together on the ideal appearance of your case and preparation of my signature front-loaded presentation that tells your story, well, the way we want it heard. When properly implemented, well, my method helps win approval for your case, even before the interview starts. Today's topic is, what is advance parole? I'll tell you a story about my clients. Timothy is a client whom I had helped get his wife's fiancé visa, and also prepared her adjustment of status petition. He called to advise that his wife had just returned to the Philippines, and to ask, well, how would that affect her green card application? There had been a family emergency. Her 12-year-old daughter had narrowly escaped a kidnap attempt. Mom was on the airplane the following day. Unfortunately, in all the excitement, they acted first and only called me for advice a week after her departure. Leaving the USA while the green card is pending without permission from USCIS, and that permission is called advanced parole, may result in her application for permanent residency being considered abandoned and automatically denied. For mom to return to the USA may require for the couple to repeat the whole immigration process again, but this time applying for a spouse visa as they are now married. After the fiancé visa, after the wedding, there is another immigration step to go through. This is called applying for permanent residency to the USA. It's also called adjustment of status. It means the foreign-born spouse is now applying to adjust her status from a K-1 fiancé visa temporary traveler and visitor from that of a temporary visitor allowed to stay for only a short 90 days to a lawful resident of the United States, allowed to remain indefinitely. The result at the end of the process is to receive well, a driver's license size card called the green card, which identifies the holder as a permanent resident. Now once permanent residency is granted, the green card holder can live in the USA, work, and freely enter and exit America's borders. While the green card is pending, and it might take a very long time, the applicant may not work nor cross the U.S. borders unless she has been approved to work or travel. And the way to, to obtain such approval is to make two separate additional applications, one for employment authorization to be allowed to work and for advanced parole to be allowed to enter exit. Now, when I help a couple put together their adjustment of status petition, I offer to also prepare for them at the same time and free of charge the applications for work and or advanced parole. Typically, in about two months, both advanced parole and employment authorization are granted. But not all couples need this. The foreign spouse may not have any plans to work nor travel within the time expected for the green card to be issued. And that was Timothy's case. Newly wed and newly arrived to the USA, his spouse had no intention to leave so soon. So when the call about her daughter came in, her green card was in process, but not yet granted, and she did not, had, did not have advanced parole. Well, they should have called me. While it normally takes a few months to obtain advanced parole, Homeland Security USAS is well aware that emergencies happen. Death, illness, even unimaginable kidnapping could take place. What I would have advised the couple was that they should immediately visit their nearest USCIS office, 
explain the emergency, and apply right there in the offices for advanced parole. With a fortunate combination of proof of the emergency and a sympathetic officer, the advanced parole could have been issued within hours while they waited. Now the way I, the visa coach, craft all petitions, fiancé, spouse, and adjustment of status, is that I anticipate what questions the reviewing officer would have, and I front load evidences and proofs that answer these potential questions into the original petitions we submit. In the case of fiancé and spouse visas where interviews are mandatory, this generally results in a short and sweet three to five minute interview ending in approval. In the case of adjustment of status, the interviews are not always mandatory. Most couples are required to attend an interview, but USCIS has the option to waive the interview if, in the opinion of the Homeland Security reviewers, the evidences presented are so complete that an interview is unnecessary. The beauty of my front-loaded presentations is that most of my clients enjoy having their adjustment of status interview waived. Their green card is often approved at long distance, then comes in the mail with no interview held. Now I hope that this will be the case for Timothy, that his interview is waived. If my front-loaded presentation wins the day on its own, as it has for so many couples, then the green card will arrive in the mail. He can then send it to his wife in the Philippines, and once she has it in hand, she can return to the USA without fuss. But if an interview is required, even perfect cases can be randomly selected, then, well, they will have to reapply all over again because she can't attend that meeting. This time, submit a spouse visa, and they'll be separated for the additional year that a spouse visa will take. Conclusion. Applying for advance parole, even if you have no immediate plans to travel, is a good idea. Advanced parole can be issued quickly in case of emergency. Call Visa Coach with immigration concerns before taking any action. And this was Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Call me. Before starting your immigration adventure, before entering an arcane maze of rules, regulations, and procedures, before committing yourself to a risky path that could mean an end to your happiness, Speak with the Visa Coach and ask for his free consultation. He listens to you to learn the red flags and strengths of your case, your eligibility and goals. He will suggest which visa is right for you, the best strategy to get it, and how soon your love can join you. The friendly advice and wisdom he'll freely share with you might make the difference between approval and denial and could save you months or years of loneliness and separation. What have you got to lose? Book your free consultation today.